what's up y'all welcome back to the channel so before we get into the vlog i want to thank flexi spot for sending my husband over this electric height adjustable gaming desk it's 55 inches and he loves it he was in the market for a new gaming desk because his was looking a little busted but flexi spot quickly got him together so as many of you know my husband is into gaming he has a whole gaming room he has a whole gaming setup with his computer three monitors and all of that good stuff so this desk definitely comes in handy for him and it's definitely going to get put to good use this is what his desk looked like before and this is what it looks like now it's nice and clean and it's electric and it's adjustable so you can adjust the desk to your desired height you can stand you can sit one of his favorite features was when you adjust the desk either up or down it's really stable you don't get any shakiness or anything like that so i would encourage you guys to head over to flexi spot and check them out the link will be down below they are running a black friday and cyber monday deal so yeah link will be down below it is monday it's almost seven o'clock 6 54 to be exact <laughs> let me change this battery so i've been up since five ish this morning but i'm just now getting up out of the bed so I'm about to um, start packing y'all orders. Once again, thank you so much for y'all support. Y'all come through every time I restock and I just cannot thank y'all enough. I get nervous every time I restock. I'm like, do they still want to buy my products? And obviously y'all do. My repeat customers is one of the reasons I keep doing this. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love all of my customers, but the ones that keep coming back and been here since how long I've been doing this a year and a half I've just been there since the beginning and still supporting and buying my products the messages the DMS the comments about how much I love my products is it's, it's all worth it all the blood sweat and tears like that so yeah I was up this morning going through the comments on my last vlog because I asked y'all to Aw, the little squirrel. He's so cute. Y'all had asked, I mean, I had asked y'all to um, give me some ideas for Vlogmas, some Vlogmas videos. Y'all gave me quite a bit. I just want to thank y'all for taking the time out to even comment in because, you know, you don't have to. Y'all know how I feel about time. So, yeah, thank you for taking the time out to write and to give me some ideas. Some of y'all wrote a lot. Listen listen I burned this banana pudding that I got from the Paula Dean store when we said Gatlinburg I burned it for the first time last night I am freaking hooked this junk smells so delicious I want more I was like I should have got more I was about to say flavors more scents I'm about to see if I can order it online, but it smells so freaking delicious. I don't get any kind of fake chemical smell or anything. All I smell is banana pudding. Now I don't smell it like throughout the house. You know, it's back here in my room and it just lights up my room. My plants are still hanging in there and they looking good. I watered them last night. See, I like plants like this, that it's not high maintenance. I don't know what the name of this plant is. But I did get it from Trader Joe. So it says medium light, partial shade. So I don't need that much sunlight. Water weekly. So the top um, inch of the soil is damp. Allow to dry between waterings. See, this is the type of plant I like. <laughs> this, this is the type of plant I can handle. And I just love the way the leaves look. I like the thick green leaves I was getting all my watches together which these ain't even it i gotta get the rest of them out of my closet i was trying to not go through them but i was trying to get them all together so i can find a space for them to be displayed i do have a like bracelet holder so i might use that because most of my bracelets is in here and this i got this in my p.o box probably a week or two ago so i need to open that and see what that is it looks like it's a small business and i'm also going to be doing small business shout outs in the month of December as well. I got a couple of these watches that I haven't worn yet because I got so many gold watches. This is the only silver watch that I have, I think, because I don't wear silver like that. I love me some gold. And the reason I haven't worn this one yet, it's a fossil, I got it off of Amazon. Um, 
ever. No, I didn't. I didn't get it off of Amazon. I got this from uh, TJ Maxx. The reason I haven't wore it yet is because I have to get Cleveland to get uh, take a link or two out so it could fit my wrist. I wear this one a lot. This is one of my favorites. Um, anyway, I still got some wig videos to do. I only got two. And I was thinking about, oh, y'all, yesterday I bought this from target it's just a nightgown i got on one now it's just all it's just the black but it's so freaking comfortable and so soft i purchased the um robe as well because they had them on sale this was originally um the brand is stars above it's 19.99 i got it on sale for 13.99 it has long sleeves because this has been chilly around here for the last couple of days. Yesterday I was walking around here with my little fuzzy slippers and a hoodie because the robe that I had, because the robe that I had is really thin and it wasn't doing nothing for me. So I purchased another robe when I bought this nightgown and the blue one. I bought Naya some too. I bought her a black and blue one as well. It was cold around this mug yesterday to the point where I was like, I want to turn on the heat, but I'm not. That's just me. I'm I'm always cold. Let me turn this off. I was watching um my girl It's E Lifestyle. Y'all should subscribe to her. She's a lifestyle vlogger. Her I enjoy her videos. She purchased a lot of stuff. Well, she used to. She says she's toned down now. She's even admit that she used to be a shopaholic. And um, yeah, she's toned down now, but her outfits, her decor in her house is just so put together. It's, she's a whole vibe. Here's the robe and it's so freaking soft and it, it feels like a throw. I got a size extra large, extra, extra large, and it actually fits perfect. It's originally $40, and I think I got it for $24.99. They only had it in this color, which is gray. It's a real light gray and pink. You know, I don't do pink, so it was like a light, uh, like that rose pink. And it got pockets as well. I don't know if they still have it on sale. If they do, it's probably going to end today. I picked up some hair color yesterday as well. Cause I'm going back black. I'm tired of this brown. I had it for three months now. This is the hair dye I always get. It's only $2.96. Natural blue black. This is what I've been wearing for probably the past 10 years of me dyeing my um, hair. Revlon, Color Silk, Natural Blue Black. Now I have tried other expensive hair dyes that would be like $10, $12 a box. The color don't last no longer than this $3 box. And it don't, it just don't look no better. So why not keep mine a $3 die? I'm about to open this package real quick. Ooh, this is cute. Ooh. Okay. This is cute. So that's how it looks. Definitely going to be rocking it. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Hi, Auntie. I love your channel. Because of you, I started collecting Crocs. Uh-oh. DH Gate designers and filming YouTube videos. Oops. <laughs> well, not the YouTube videos, but the DH Gate and collecting Crocs. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a Florida-born girl and raised, and it's crazy that we haven't met. I spent two weeks in Orlando on vacation, scoping the streets, hoping to see you guys out it'll happen one day i'm putting it in the air <laughs> but my name is charlene i'm 20 years old and i started my own business doolities boutique i know the name may be hard to pronounce but it's do let's look <laughs> she know i'm slow she actually put it like this for me <laughs> y'all know i'll be slow my goal is to own a one-stop accessory shop where you can solve any kind of accessory need. In your package, I've included Double G's headband, uh, Arabic chain that reads blessing, and crown me chain for Naya. She put down here, the chains do not tarnish. I hope you guys enjoy these goodies. Have a blessed day. Much love from one of your nieces. Also, if you would like to share a coupon code, Naya222 for money off. So this is the Arabic necklace. And this is her information. 
I'm gonna go to her website and purchase a few things. I love when I see my young nieces and nephews out here doing that thing. So this is a necklace for Naya. I need to go follow her on Instagram as well. Thank you, Charlene. 20 year old entrepreneur. Yes, I love to see it. Why she include a banana Laffy Taffy in here though? <laughs> Y'all know me too well. I got a lot of candy. I'm gonna do a little tweaking to this area over here because I need more room. Because I have purses coming, some coach purses coming, and I still got my purses down here that I recently got. My Louis Vuitton purse. I got three Louis Vuitton purses down there. This is not staying down there. The Marc Jacobs, that's going to be part of like my overnight bag or like our staycations, which I'm planning very soon. Cleveland birthday is coming up on December 11th. Jay birthday is December 5th. Either one of them don't care to do anything, but we'll probably go to the boathouse for Jay birthday, a little birthday dinner. I'm thinking that's where he's probably going to pick. We'll see. He loved the boathouse. Cleveland, he's just going to say it don't matter to him. So I'm going to have to do everything because he's going to say, first of all, he's going to say he don't want to do anything. Anybody else has been like that? Like, come on. He just goes with the flow because he know I'm going to plan something. And I've honestly been doing this for 20 years. So, hey, it works for him. It works for us. <laughs> okay, back to over here. I do have a shelf that I have just sitting around. Actually, y'all probably seen it sitting around the house. It's a long skinny box that's been sitting in the hallway for about a month because I was gonna put it in Naya's room. Now she already have this shelf. It's the Ikea shelf. I think it's the Ikea lac. It's the white shelf that Yana got in her room. So what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is this, just, this is a vision. This is just a vision. Putting that shelf over here next to my mirror, move this plant over here i need more room for my perfumes dossier had a sale i think that's how you pronounce it so i bought five of their perfumes I, that was a good deal because i bought five perfumes four or five perfumes for 95 dollars. that was a good deal first of all i got three perfumes that i that i just bought that i haven't even opened yet i got the can the prada candy the coach floral and then i got the mark jacobs so sweet this is not even all of my perfume i gave some to deja because she would always come in here spraying and i still got some in my closet i don't wear this at all it don't stink but it's just it's not a vibe for me yeah and then i'm not giving it to cleveland because because <laughs> it is a unisex scent but um i love the bottle the bottle is just too cute so what do y'all do with y'all old perfume bottles? Like, do y'all just throw them away? It's like I don't want to throw it away. Actually, it's a little bit left in here. Y'all see that? It's a little bit left. So I ain't about to throw it away yet. I'm going to see if I can squirt that little bit out. I don't think y'all seen this, but I did hang up my um, MCM hats over here. And remember I told y'all I was just going to hang up maybe two purses here. Uh, the one that I'm using the most or the ones that I'm currently carrying and maybe another one. Y'all, why this turn into this again? These two Gucci purses. So I'm going to put those two in the closet because I need to make room. I actually need another one of these bookshelves, but yeah, where it's going to go. So I'm going to have to narrow this space down. Actually, I'm going to have this space here because I, I'm going to move my perfumes and this thing here that I have all of my wallets and stuff and i move this over to the shelf i was just telling y'all about i wear these the most and that's probably because they're authentic and i paid a lot for them so i'm gonna wear them the most it's like these two came from dh gate so i'm put those away i've been wearing this one and this one like crazy as well i just love the style of it because y'all know i love any purse that has the little coin thingy on it. This is Louis Vuitton's utility bag. I didn't get it from DH Gate, but I got it from a website that replica bags and they're like AAAA whatever quality bag. They look and feel so freaking good. I I love them. <laughs> I love them. Yeah, oh, I got some money in this one. Oh, I got a couple dollars in this one. Do I got some money in here? Nah. Okay. 
So moving on, this purse. Oh my goodness. This is one of my top coach purses. It's like I was wearing this purse when I didn't even, when it didn't even match. Like I would have, um, I don't know, just say all green. <laughs> I didn't, but I'm just trying to paint a picture. I would wear all green and have this purse on. I just switch. What purse am I currently wearing now? I don't even know. I think it's in the front somewhere. I got this last month off Coach Outlet. It was under their purses $99 or less. And it was $99. It sold out real quick. But I just love the magnetic. I love my hands to be free. So that's why I love crossbody purses. But I just love how it just, you can just open it and it just... You see what I'm saying? No unzipping. You know, you just got this back compartment here. I either put my phone and receipts here, which I have some now. A couple. I got three receipts in there. And then in here is another pocket, which I got more receipts. And then here is the main pocket, like with another little pocket. What are money in there too? Yeah, I got some money in here too, child. I got five dollars. <laughs> One of the reasons that I love Coach is not only because the quality is so good. I love their hardware and I love the little Coach tag. I remember growing up in middle school, high school, the Coach belts was popular, and I only had one Coach belt. And I begged my, uh, I begged my grandma to buy that. <laughs> she bought it. I don't think y'all seen this Coach bag that I got off of Poshmark. Yes, I got this perch off of Poshmark. Now, I was watching somebody's haul, coach haul, and I seen it and I fell in love with it. The color, the hardware, it's kind of like, it's kind of different from this. It's more like a shiny gold, but this is like that antique gold, which I love. Check out the tag though. Like, I had to have it. Now, I searched high and low for it, and I had to get it off of Poshmark because the coach or the coach outlet was not selling it. Couldn't find it nowhere but Poshmark. And I basically, so it retailed $450, paid $225 on Poshmark. I basically got it from the coach outlet. Remember the coach shoes that I tried on, couldn't fit? And by the way, I am going to ship those out today to the winner. The two Christmas trees, the shoes I'm shipping out today, the winner has already been notified. She sent me her address and everything. The two winners for the Christmas trees, I already notified the winner. And I ordered their tree off of uh, Home Depot. I got them a seven and a half foot Christmas tree and they had it on sale for $99. So if you're looking for a Christmas tree, like a nice tall full one, they got one on Home Depot. Well, they had one on home. I don't know if it's out of stock and I don't know if it's still on sale. Seven and a half foot pre-lit Christmas tree and they had the twinkling lights, I think. Don't quote me on that. I think it had a twinkling lights. I know it's pre-lit though for $99. So that was a good deal. So I grabbed two of those and I sent those to the winners and they should get them this week. Like I said, the shoes is gonna be shipped out today and she should get them this week. Um, but I ordered more in a smaller size and I was saying I need to get a purse to match, but this purse will match because this is the print that's on the shoes. So yeah, this purse, like the quality, like Louis Vuitton could never. <laughs> Cause I be hearing some, ooh, people that been buying Louis Vuitton for 10 plus years. They have been dogging Louis Vuitton how bad the quality has been. It was this one girl. She purchased, I think, a wallet. She ordered it online. The stitching was crazy. She sent it back. She got another one. Something else was off. She was like, I am, I'm done with it. She's like, we spending way too much money. We spending that much money. Six, seven, eight hundred dollars on just a little old wallet. That junk better be top notch, perfect. It better not be a blemish, nothing. Louis Vuitton is the only luxury brand that I've seen or have heard that be just dragged all up and down YouTube. <laughs> all right, I done talked to y'all enough. I'll pick y'all back up later. I think I'm about to knock a couple of these wig videos out. I'm about to see if my husband can put up the shelf. Oh, I should have bought those curtains for in here too, which I still can and I think I am. So I purchased some new curtains and let me show y'all. I purchased some new curtains for to replace these because these been here since the beginning child. So these are four years old. 
I only took them down once to wash them. Don't judge me, judge yourself. <laughs> These is more uh, high traffic because we're constantly open those and the bottoms get dirty. So I have been washing those, but those only got took down one time. Why is Mickey on the floor? I am so confused. Who, who did this to Mickey? Who did it? See, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I had him right here. Y'all better leave Mickey alone. What if he jumped down there himself? Ooh. <laughs> okay, so these are the curtain. Wait, let me, let's bring some light up in here. Now I got this stupid plant sitting here. No, it's not stupid. It's stupid looking in front of this patio door because I got to find somewhere to put it. This is the plant that was in the front where my Christmas tree is. Did I show y'all my Christmas tree? I don't even think I showed y'all the Christmas tree that's in the front. We'll do that in a minute. And I need y'all opinion too, <sighs> which it probably won't make a difference because I'm probably about to order it in as soon as I get off of here with y'all. But it'd be nice to know y'all opinion. Let me move this over because this is blocking the sun from coming in. Okay. So I picked up like these taupe, they're linen or got that linen feel. I don't think they're not real linen. They're linen shears. I think that's how the store described them. Two of them is gonna go over there. Four of them is gonna go here. Okay, so here's the Christmas tree. Don't mind those, those Deja bean bags that she took up out of her room and Naya's gonna put them in her room. So we're gonna try to rearrange her room to fit those. This is the Christmas tree that I had last year, only is decorated differently. Last year was the Mario theme. That's why I got the Mario star up at the top. Um, but that's gonna be replaced by that star there that I picked up from Target for $5. But then I was like, I don't want that star because it don't twinkle, it don't light up or anything. And I didn't think about that when I purchased it. I, I just seen a cheap gold star, $5, and I grabbed it. So I might take it back and get uh, one that light up. And the ones that light up was like $10. I like my stars to light up or twinkle or do something. I said I wasn't gonna do the Mario theme because it just doesn't match the room anymore. And y'all know I switch up like I switch my underwear, but that's okay. So this is the stuff that I used last year on the tree that I didn't use this year. So I threw it in here and it worked out perfectly because it matches. So yeah, it worked out and I didn't have to buy any more ornaments. This right here, my mommy bought this for me or she brung it to me, it lights up. Hold on, let me see the battery might be dead. Oh yeah. There it is, it lights up like that. When she came down last year, she brought it to me. I'm sitting up here watching Pastor Greg Locke here on YouTube. I just wanted to share this with y'all. It should remind me, it should remind you, it should remind us. Never, ever, ever, even if you don't have much communication with him anymore, never forget the people that God used in your life to get you where you are right now. Don't ever forget them. Don't ever forget those people. You may not even be on the same page anymore. Don't ever forget those people. You're not a self-made man. You're not a self-made woman. You didn't pull yourself up by your bootstraps. The Holy Spirit used somebody in your life to pray for you. You're a product of somebody's prayer life. Amen. You're a product of somebody's financial benevolence, stewardship, sacrifice into your life. Don't ever forget the people that made you who you are. That's why months ago in the other tent, circus tent, they called it. That's why we brought Jimmy Crockett in. That's why April the 17th of this next year, which happens to be on a Sunday. It's rare that it would happen this way, only so many years, that my spiritual birthday would fall on a Sunday. 30 years of salvation this coming April. 30 years. And we'll celebrate it together under this tent. 30 years ago, we'll celebrate it under this tent. But two of the people that we're going to have under this tent that celebrate with us on that day are number one, the man that was preaching the night I got saved. I found him and I reached out to him. And the man that ran the children's home that I grew up in for four years that became the dad that I never had and influenced my life to the place mm -hmm. where I'm standing on this platform with this microphone right now. Mm -hmm. But I say all that to say this and I'm not done, but I'm just gonna quit and we're gonna pray. When I called the man that was preaching the night I got saved, we've seen each other one time in 30 years at a conference in Vegas that I was preaching at and he was giving a testimony at. 
He's not in the ministry as far as what he was doing anymore. He works at Liberty University. He took over Jerry Falwell's Sunday school class when Jerry Falwell went to heaven years ago. So he does that Sunday school class, but he doesn't travel as an evangelist anymore. He was an Cajun evangelist, David Benoit. Looks like Benoit. But I called him and I, I found him. I don't even know how I found him. It's, it's, it's a long thing. The Lord worked it out. I reached out to him. I sent him a text. I said, is this Dave Benoit? And he said, yeah, yeah, who's this? And I told him. So he called me immediately. A couple months ago now, I've been in contact with him. And we talked for a little while, 30, 40 minutes. And he said, you know what's interesting about this conversation? This broke my heart. It helped me, but it broke my heart. He said, I couldn't tell you though, the thousands of sermons that I've preached all over America and around the world as an evangelist. He said, I did it for 30 years. To some of the biggest Baptist churches, that was the circles that I knew, some of the biggest Baptist churches on the planet. He said, there's times I would give the invitation and a thousand people would come to the front in these huge crusades and respond to the gospel. 30 years, he said, I did it. And before we hung up the phone, Micah, he said, you are the only convert in 30 years that's ever reached out to me and thanked me the only convert in 30 years. Now that blessed me that I felt the need to do that, but it crushed me. Because we forget the people that made us who we are. We forget the men and women of God that labored on their knees to give us what we have. Somebody paved the way for us to have revival in this tent. It wasn't me. Somebody else. I don't know. I just wanted to share that with y'all because that kind of touched me because I remember when I got saved, <laughs> accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior, like for real, was at Rob Parsley Church in Ohio. This was back in 2016. He was the one that invited me and thousands others because Rob Parsley Church is huge. It's a mega church. You know, he was the one that invited us to go up there to the altar and accept Jesus. At that moment, when I walked up to that altar, I, my life changed. Now, I'm not perfect. Um, I still struggle. I still have my demons, but my life changed for the better my mindset, my thought process, and uh, my marriage, a lot of things changed. And it was because of the Holy Spirit. Now, Rob Parsley, I don't necessarily, now, I don't necessarily agree with a lot of things. Um, I don't necessarily, now I don't necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily attend Rob Parsley's church as like a member or whatever, because I don't agree with some of the stuff that, or how he preaches. Like, I don't care to listen to prosperity preachers. Now, like I said, I haven't listened to or visited Rob Parsley's church in a good, about five, six years. So I don't know how he preaches now. In my opinion, one of those prosperity pre preachers. I like to listen to pastors that teaches you to repent. Talks about sin, conviction, you know, and gets into the word of God. Some pastors don't even read from the Bible. Like Tony Evans, I love him. Listening to him, you'd like just understand. You know, sometimes you can be confused reading the Bible. Oh, I don't want to say confused because God is not the author of confusion. The Bible is not meant to confuse you. Just put it like this. I'm a little slow, so I need, <laughs> I need somebody to help me out to understand. Maybe that's it. Yeah, not confusion. Let, let's scratch that. Tony Evans does that. That's why I put so much money. I'm not trying to brag or anything like that. That's why I put so much money into his ministry. But I watch him online. I watch his YouTube channel. I have his app on my phone when I want to listen to his sermons. I love his work. I love his preaching. I don't, in my opinion, you don't have to go to a physical church because the church is just the building. We are the church. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think you have to be sitting in nobody's church to, you know, get the word, understand the word and, you know, have a love for God and Jesus. So, okay. So this is what I wanted to get y'all opinion on. I'm thinking about getting this red office chair for the front up there. I've been using that blue one probably for about two years now and I'm tired of it. So, and that's not even an office chair or nothing. That goes to a dinner table. So um, I was thinking about adding a pop of red in there. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
yeah, I was thinking about adding a pop of red in there, but then I was like, I want to be on the safe side and then just go with the black. But you know, my room has so much black in it now. I was thinking about getting a green chair. Mm, I don't know. I just think the red will stand out. The pink. I'm not thinking about getting I just wanted to show y'all just in case y'all interested in it because you know pink is not my color honey that blue is really pretty y'all know i didn't grew out of the blue out of the blue furniture okay but i think i'm gonna just go with the red oh they got yellow that's pretty i'm gonna just keep the red so i'm gonna purchase this chair for in the front up there I hate that it's 209 though, but I really like the chair. And what they mean, Cyber Monday deal. So you telling me this chair is $260, like for real, for real? Or y'all just lying and it's really $209. Let's look at some more office chairs because I really don't want to pay that $209. And I don't want a chair like this. I want a chair like this. How much is this? This is $173, but they only offer it in these two colors. This is two. Um, too boxy and too I don't know I don't like that um this one looked too little for my wide behind that one also looked too little this one's okay it don't it's 167 oh that ain't got enough stars for me this oh that's the one I <laughs> said that just caught my eye and that's the one I'm just about to go on ahead and get that one but we gonna look a little bit Further. Oh, what's this one for 87? It don't look as good as the other. I don't know, but it's it's cheaper. They say the chair came a hole. Dang, it was a hole in it. Lost my job. Okay, I need somebody to I need somebody to tell me if this is like a true red. That looks like a true red though. Hmm, why is all these holes and rips and stuff in these chairs? I don't know about this one. Okay, let's look some more. Do y'all like videos like this? Because it seemed like, like I record videos like this all the time where I'm talking and sharing stuff like this with y'all. And I always edit it out because I think that y'all don't care. You know what I'm saying? So I just edit it out and I might edit this out. I don't even know. But if it makes the cut... Y'all let me know if y'all like videos like this because it just seems like, you know, y'all wouldn't even care. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But yeah, I don't want to. Oh, I like this brown. I ain't about $327, $23, but I like that. But I don't want a chair like that for in the front, even though. Okay, here go one for $169. Is that the same one? That might be the same one. Okay, I don't really see nothing. That one two thirty. Um, I really don't feel like going through all of these pages. I'll be going like through the first couple pages, and I be that be it. Okay, I decided to go with this chair. I know I just told y'all I didn't want to go with a chair like this, but I'm going to be sitting in this chair for long periods of time, you know, editing or whatever. So it looks comfortable and the review says so as well. It has a high back, so it's going to give me that back support. So it comes in blue, red, gray, and what is this? Orange. The red looks true to color. It's a very comfortable chair. And yeah, comfortable pretty good for a cheap chair and it's only $85 so yeah we're gonna go with this one it's only two left so add the cart I found this uh vanity stool on Amazon it's a Cyber Monday deal for $36.79 it's a cute color it's like this what they saying it's what's this called pumpkin brown but this will match my room it's 18 and a half inches and it says maximum weight capacity 250 pounds so that's good y'all remember i got this chair from wayfair because they sent me the wrong color i originally ordered it in green and they sent me this color but they just told me to keep this chair so this chair just kind of been all it was in naya's room and it just been just all around the house but now it's about to go out into the garage honestly only really used this area to do my wig videos 
So we gonna get this bad boy up out of here and then I'm gonna purchase this stool, which is so pretty, the color. Let's see if somebody got it. And so we can see the true color. Oh yeah, that's, 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 that's it. So we gonna get this ordered. I already ordered the red chair because it was only two left. So I didn't want to, you know, mess around and those two be sold. Oh, somebody got a video on the brown one. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That's going to go perfect. My Amazon always come through. I don't even know why I went to Wayfair in the beginning. Hey, y'all. It is so many hours later. It's actually 6.30. I've been busy all day. I didn't even get a chance to pack up y'all orders. I'm so sorry. I promise I will be up at 5 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. packing y'all orders. I've knocked out three hair videos, and this is one of the wigs right here. I decided to not play around with the uh, wigs baby hairs because I can jack those up. I just left mine's out. I did three sponsorship videos so that I've been busy and I edited them. I didn't just only do the sponsorship videos. I did them and then I edited them. So I got all of that out the way. So I'm proud of myself because usually I just have a whole bunch of videos on my camera waiting to be edited. I got it done. So right now I'm editing the first part of the vlog and then I'm gonna just add this on because I'm at the end of the video here. I don't have anything else to do or anything else to show y'all right now. I promise I'll pick y'all back up tomorrow. Tomorrow is the start of Vlogmas, so yay. I did pop one of these apple desserts in the toaster oven. Where is it? Oh, right here. I got them from Target. You know, I love these. Me and Cleveland love these apple crumb blossoms. So I put pop one of those in and I'm about to top it off with some Haagen-Dazs vanilla bean ice cream. Jay um, made some brownies. I think, did Jay make these brownies from scratch? Yeah, he made them from scratch. I was wondering why he had the sugar, the flour, and the uh, Hershey's cocoa mix up. All right, so that's what that's looking like. That's my dessert. Cleveland brought me back a chicken gyro and some fries earlier. So I'm still full from that. So this is my dessert. I'm done with the Thanksgiving food. It's not even nothing left anyway. Girl, I did a shapewear video trying on shapewear. Y'all have got to watch that video. I was really feeling myself. I tried it on with dresses. I showed y'all what it looked like before I had the shapewear on and after I had it on. And I, yeah, I was just feeling myself. It just made me want to just go out and buy more dresses. Definitely check out that video when I posted. I did edit it and I sent it over to the brand. So they just got to approve it. And once they approve it and pay me, <laughs> I will post the video. So make sure y'all check that out. But like I said, I'll pick y'all back up tomorrow. I got a lot of stuff from Amazon that came today, so I'll do a whole Amazon haul. I mean, a lot of stuff. It's basically like kitchen and kitchen gadgets and just home stuff. So I'm gonna share that with y'all tomorrow. And I'm gonna go out to either Walmart or Target and shop for some Christmas gifts for uh, the charity Samaritan's Purse. Every year they do like this Christmas charity where you fill up a shoe box full of stuff goodies toys or whatever whatever you can fit in the shoe box and send it off to a child in need now the last year or two i just went on the website and donated money but it was a couple years and i have vlogged it where i um bought the stuff and packed it up in a shoe box so that's what i plan on doing this year you can either pick boy or girl from ages like two to four, and then from like five to nine, and then 10 to 14, I believe, either for boy or girl. So I think I'm gonna do all six, <laughs> cause I couldn't just pick one. I'm like, what age range should I pick? Should I pick a boy or a girl? So I think I'm gonna just do six. So I'm gonna just fill up six shoe boxes, boy, girl, all the age ranges. <laughs> so I wanna do that as soon as possible, so I'm, most likely gonna do that tomorrow with y'all. So yeah, stay tuned. Vlogmas tomorrow, a hey, let's go, let's get it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure y'all have y'all notifications on because I am gonna be doing giveaways all throughout the month of December. I know this vlog was a lot of talking, but hey, sometimes that's what vlogs is about. I picked up a camera and talking to y'all like I'm talking to a friend. So, all right, y'all, bye.